Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you everything about the Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from my last video about beginner course or it's free course, right? In the playlist of beginner course, I did show you some tips and tricks and how you can download this cool project from Megascan and how you can uh, import it, open it. Uh, you know from default if you want to open it it takes like five of her to open and compile shader and compile light and it did show you how you can fix that problem to take like half an hour to open this project and after that whenever you want to open it it's just take 30 seconds or one minute to open this cool project in this video i'm going to show you some uh, basic stuff with unreal engine 5 first thing is our camera and you can see in here uh, for changing the position of our camera i hold right click and with w a s a s d i can move around our scene and you can see how we can do that and i think it's the best way if you hold right click with c you can zoom and with z you can unzoom of course if you release right click it will go back to the default position default zooming and unzooming and um, it won't affect your game it's just for showing you you can when you hold right click with e you can go up with q you can go down and the best way to do it with holding middle mouse you can go up down left and right okay this video is about basic stuff but i will show you a lot of cool things but please after this video and video after this uh, please watch my videos about tips and tricks about unreal engine don't miss that please uh, i did show you a lot of tricks in unreal engine to go around your scene first thing to, that i want to show you is this icon in here in perspective you can see we have the perspective view in here and if you click on it you can go to top um, top layout in top view in here you can change the position of every object in more precise way and you can see you have bottom view you can have left right front and back and those are for just placing things as precise as, as you can put it and in in here there is two viewports first of all default viewport that we always uh, work with it and another thing cinematic viewport okay so in cinematic viewport uh, it's no difference but i will show you everything about it in the next videos okay so you can see at the default you have all of these icons the camera the decals icon the light icons and everything and if you hold if you had g on your keyboard all of them will go away and you can see everything now but next thing that i want to show you if you click on this button you can show the fps and you can see it in here it, the fps will be shown in there and in the future video i will show you how you can optimize your game so it it will give you more of fps not just 13 uh, 30 frame per second okay again click on here i don't want to see those show fps and again if you click on it this far view plane i did talk about it in tips and tricks i don't want to talk about it again but that game view that we talk about that when you hit g on your keyboard everything all the icon will be shown in here is in here as well so hit g on your keyboard and all of them will be gone and you can go around your scene in the video about tips and tricks about unreal engine i did talk about all of this stuff uh, before so i don't want to talk about it just watch those videos next thing that i want to show you uh, let's just this is our fps if we put it on on lit you can see we have more fps now and if your scene get a lot complicated you can use this on lit view mode so it will show you in better way and after that wireframes uh, that it, it just show you the wireframes it's just for putting the object at precise location and you can use that of course but the detail lighting it is just show you the lighting of, of our scene and you can see the lighting i will talk about lightings and lights a lot so don't worry about that just put it on lit again i will talk about all of those options in the future videos in here you can see this is a decals in here so for not just uh, i don't want it to show it to me for doing that if you go to show you can disable the decals and you can see all the decals will go uh, away you can just disable and enable whatever object you want in your scene so you can work with other objects that you want to work with next thing that i want to show you in is this create in this create button you can create lights you can create shapes you can create cinematic cameras that i will talk about it a lot you can create visual effects like sky atmosphere volumetric cloud 
you can uh, have post processed volume that I will show you everything about them you can create decals and everything but if you want to have this uh, create menu like Unreal Engine 4 just click on place active and you can see this panel in here that you can add lights whatever light you want I will talk about all of these lights in future videos I can add shapes I can add those camera that we talk about and we can add visual effects and everything right but there is another button that says all at all classes uh, there are some actors or object that uh, they couldn't categorize it in these icons in here that is in here like this animation thumbnail skeleton mesh actor and everything there is a lot that we will talk about it so please hit that subscribe button we will talk a lot about a lot of things in Unreal Engine 5 for closing that you can just had this and after that the content drawer okay content drawer is down here and you can see there is some folders in here that you can put your asset in there you can see that i have this mega scan folder in here that all 3d assets in here if i open one of them you can see this static meshes material instances textures normal maps and everything we just uh, drag in and drop it you can put it on your scene like this okay so let's just delete that so that's why that's what content drawer is you can add uh, like blueprint classes levels material material instances and a lot of things you can add to your project in here there is a paper 2d for creating 2d games like, like what they're designing on game maker and uh, unity and all the all those cool stuff you can have it now in Unreal engine 5 and i will talk about this as well in future videos and there is a lot of coolest cooler stuff in here that i will show you in future videos next things is blueprint blueprint is just a way of coding without writing any code and it's as easy as it can get and i will show you everything about it after that cinematic that we don't want to talk about it right now there is a play button here that you can play your scene in here with s button you can close those play uh, you can go out of the, those plays and next thing that i want to show you in this build uh, you can build all levels sometimes you need to build lighting only because it takes too much time to uh, build everything so you didn't change any position you just want to build lights and you should just use this if your light building your lighting is taking too long you can change it to uh, medium so you can work with that and after you want to publish your game you can put it on production or preview and everything should work right okay i will talk about everything like build lods for level of details for uh, maximizing the, your fps because some object in here is high poly and you don't want you don't need that in your game because your player won't zoom in those um, objects so you don't have you don't need a lot of polygons for just showing like this chair okay and i will talk about this level of details a lot in the next video i will i will finish this beginner uh, widows and we will work on blueprints and creating our game from the scratch so for watching those videos please hit that subscribe button and if you want to help me please hit that like button as well thank you very much for watching bye